we have given algebraic fraction and we have to reduce this fraction to the lowest terms. We know that we can reduce only when we have multiplication in numerator and in the denominator because we have here subtractions so first we have to factorize. We have in numerator y to fourth power minus 2y squared. So I will rewrite y to fourth power that this is y to second power to second power. This is from property of exponent. When we have y to second power to second power, we just multiply the exponent. So 2 times 2 is 4. So it's exactly the same what we have at the beginning. So the rest we will copy square minus 8 over and the same we will do in the denominator. We will have y to second power and to the second power minus and 16. We can rewrite that this is 4 to second power. So what next? If we substitute y square by variable for example x, let's put that a y square is equal x. So then, let me copy our numerator, we will have x square minus 2x minus 8 in the uh, in the, our numerator. y, x is equal y square. If you substitute x by y square, you will get the same expression what we have at the beginning. But now it's a little easier to factorize this general quadratic trinomial because this is general quadratic trinomial. And the coefficient before x squared is invisible 1. It means to factorize this expression, we need to find two numbers whose sum is negative 2, coefficient before x is negative 2, and the product of these two numbers is negative 8. And of course, we have to multiply a x times x because we have x squared. It will be negative 4 and 2 because negative 4 times 2 is negative 8 and negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. So everything is okay. So we can rewrite our numerator instead of x, we will put y squared because we have y squared x is equal y square, so it will be y square minus 4 in the first parenthesis and in the second parenthesis, again, instead of x, we have to put y square because we have y square here, plus 2. What next? The same we have in the denominator. It will put now, let Again, y square will be equal x. So then we have here, instead of y square, we will have x square. y square will in substitute that x, and this x we have to raise to second power, and we have minus 4 to second power. And now we see that we have difference of 2 perfect squares. And we know formula that this is x minus 4 times x plus 4. Let me remind you this formula when we have a square minus b square, this is equal a minus b times a plus b. In this example, a is equal x and b is equal 4. So now we can come back to our denominator and instead of x we need to put y square. So we will have y square minus 4 and y square plus 4. So now when we have multiplication in numerator and denominator between these two parentheses we have multiplication 
and in first parenthesis we have y square minus 4 and in denominator we have y square minus 4 so this whole expression we can reduce y square minus 4 divided by y square minus 4 is 1 the same in denominator so now we have 1 times y square plus 2 is y square plus 2 and 1 times y square plus 4 is y square plus 4 this is my solution